Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am continuing my room makeover series slash my clean with me videos. Um, and I am also sitting outside to record this voiceover today because it is super, super nice outside. It's finally starting to feel like spring in West Virginia. So I wanted to sit outside and edit today. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so if you guys hear any background noise, that is what that is. Um, it is just sweet old mother nature. But anyways, um, this is the continuation of my makeover series, like I said. Um, I sort of did this room makeover in a weird order because of how my furniture in my room sits. Um, so as you guys saw in my last video, I did the bottom half of my wall um, where the bed sits. And then this time I am kind of doing the top half um, of the walls as well as making my way around the room so here you will see me kind of uh, well doing a lot of things but washing down this section of the wall um, and then I take down the poster and do that side and everything else um, this was quite a project and it took several days to do but the final project you guys turned out very very cool and I'm so excited to show you guys but I also love showing you guys the prog the process of doing a full makeover um, which includes of course washing down walls and painting and basically just doing a spring clean with me on top of a makeover job and I had a lot of fun doing it I did the whole thing completely by myself and it was just a lot of fun and very much a learning, uh, a very learning thing for me. Like I learned a lot doing it. Um, so anyways, in this video you'll see me taking down some of the wall items, um, washing down more walls, spackling some spots, and there's also some talking clips in this one as well. So I hope you guys enjoy all of this um, and stay tuned for the last couple videos. To see the final product once it was finished because I think it turned out super super awesome but you guys will be the final ones to decide I love it but what you guys will see in the final product when I do my room tour um, is that thanks to coronavirus and the COVID-19 stuff there are still some unfinished uh, spots in my room um, just because I can't get out and about and to different hardware stores um, to get the items I need to like hang shelves and that kind of stuff. Um, so it is still unfinished, but it's mainly finished right now. And so far, I love it. I can't wait until all this COVID-19 stuff is over and done with and I can get out and get some decorations and get the stuff I want to finish this project. But Anyways, this is enough talking for me. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update um, on how everything is going. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the series. And I think there is either one or two more videos coming and then there will be a room tour. So stay tuned for all that. But I hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.
Okay, so I just realized that my camera cut off right after I vacuumed up what was left of the spackle on the ground. So I want to show you guys what I did so that you can see. So basically, this is a mess right now. That's everything. This wall is done completely. But what I did was washed this off with the wood spray around here, cleaned the mirror. Hi, there I am. I look like crap. But I put that back down there. I took everything. This is everything that was on here, the shelves and stuff. The shelves are there. Took everything off of there. And I washed down this entire wall. Now I'm going, I'm going to replace these shelves eventually after we paint. But for now I'm going to put them back up. So I'm going to wash them. As you can see they're very dusty. Also look at that gross water from the walls. It's disgusting. I need to go get some more. But I took everything off the walls. This whole wall and the door is done up until that point right there. I got to get that part and the back side of this. But as far as this wall, it is done. So I even spackled the wall in some places over there where I had hit the desk up against there. There was a little crack there. So I'm going to clean the shelves, clean off all this stuff and organize it a little bit neater and put them back up on the wall um, until we paint and get my shelves built, my other shelves. So for now, they'll go back up on there. Um, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to move this stuff and do this section here. And then this weekend, all I'll have to do is that wall and basically the top of this. That poster is going to come down, even though I love that poster. It's going to come down, and I basically need to do from the bed up on this wall, and then this whole wall here, and then this. And then I'll be done with washing them, and it'll be time to paint which is going to be fun because I've got to take all of this stuff, take the curtains down, take the shelves down, all of the decorations, everything. So that'll be fun. But that is what I am doing right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back up. So I just wanted to explain that because there's a big chunk that I missed there because I didn't realize my camera stopped recording. So I wanted to update you guys on that. And now I am going back to work.
course guys, as soon as I stop recording, y'all missed the most exciting thing that happened today. So this, I was trying to put this up on that shelf right there um, because this is one of those collector bottles that has the West Virginia sign on it. And obviously I'm from West Virginia, so I got one of these. It's a collector's bottle. Um, I just thought it was cool, so I collected it, um, and I'm keeping it, and of course it's unopened, and you know, there's all kinds of Coke bottle collections, but what you didn't see is this thing, I'll show you in a second, but it's tilted out from the wall because the anchors, it's just, they're really poorly made shelves pretty much, um, I think I got them from like Walmart or something, and they're super, super thin. Um, so that's why not much fits on them. As you can see there, they're super thin and also, um, they're tilted out from the wall a lot because they're just not made correctly, which is why we're, we're we are replacing them once I paint and everything. But, um, I was trying to put that up on the top shelf so I can display it and have it up there but because this shelf is tilted it slid off of there and hit me right in this eye right here and i don't know if you guys can tell but it's starting to swell a little bit so it hurts really bad um so yeah as soon as my camera died of course you missed that um but i'll show you what i mean by this shelf if you look there you can see if you look closely how far it comes out of the wall right there on the corner and you can see how badly it's tilted and again these are super super small shelves that is a normal book size right there and you can see how far the overhang is so I'm getting ones like this is in comparison to my hand like they're not even long enough for my hand they're probably two inches maybe two and a half three inches there I don't even think that probably two um so they're super wide but i want to get some that come a little bit farther out and go all the way across rather than these short ones so i want to get one that goes kind of like from there to there and then do a couple up there so that's what we're doing once we get it finished but i just wanted to show you this is ridiculous like look like look at that look how much it comes out from the wall see you can see the anchor right there in the middle right there and it's coming out from the wall a lot so I'll even show you up close you can see how it's tilted out from the wall so not much will be put on that for now because of that I am not going to finish this wall today plus there's a lot of stuff on here and it is already almost six o'clock in the evening. Basically, what I am doing today is I'm going to go ahead and finish putting stuff back up on here, what I can, um, and move my desk back for now because we're not gonna paint for another couple days. So I'll move this back and pretty much clean up all this stuff. And I'm gonna vacuum one more time because just dusk dust off of these and off of the walls um and then yeah i'm going to chill out for the rest of the day i was going to do this section here where this little cut in is but i'm going to wait because my eye is black now and it hurts and i really just don't feel like doing it it's late in the evening and i want to get it done plus this wall is not going to be hard once i move the furniture out it'll be super simple because there's not much on the walls <coughs> other than the TV so that wall will be simple um, this wall will be pretty simple too because all I have to do is take the poster down take that down and the shelving unit and then move the furniture so these two walls will be pretty simple and this will be pretty simple too um, I just got to take all that stuff down so basically this and majority of this wall is done so yeah, I'm just going to clean up my mess and then I'll finish this probably this weekend, give it a couple days to dry, um, and then we'll do the ceiling um, and paint it first and then we'll tape up the walls and do that. So I'm going to go.
go ahead and finish cleaning this up and we'll be good.
right, guys. That is day two of the shit show, pretty much. I've gotten that wall with all my guitars done and that wall. And next video, maybe tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to start on it tomorrow because I have to work this weekend. Or if I'll wait till Monday when I'm off. But the next video that you guys see will be all of this wall getting done and organized. And this wall getting done and organized. And also, there at the last, you saw me going through my closet. I was not planning on doing that. That was just going to be uh, something that I did later. But I have a box of like house stuff that I am getting ready to put away. Like stuff that, little knickknacks and stuff that family members gave me. And so I have a bunch of trophies from when I was in softball and that kind of stuff as well. So I just put that all in together and I decided to go ahead and pull that stuff out of my closet. So that I could go ahead and get that box uh, fixed up so that it could go ahead and go to the building rather than have the box halfway full and then have to bring it back in and fill it back up. So I went ahead and did that. And the next video you guys will see will be cleaning and organizing this wall and this wall. Um, I'm kind of doing spring cleaning first, as you guys can see, and obviously washing down the walls, which needs to be done for a paint job. So I'm kind of combining both of them, but you guys will see the whole process of this room makeover slash spring clean, deep clean thing. I don't even know what I'm titling these videos or how many videos there will be in this series. I'm just filming it because it's cool to watch and uh, also to give you guys some cleaning motivation for springtime because even if you're not painting, you can wash down your walls at any time. I'm sure they need it because mine needed it real bad. It looks so much better already and I can't wait till we get the paint on. But um, tomorrow I will be basically going through and organizing all this stuff getting rid of a bunch of stuff that's on this dresser. I will be going through taking the curtains down and doing this wall, going through the stuff that is in this thing and getting rid of some of that. And I'm just kind of spring cleaning as I'm getting ready for uh, the paint job. So I'm kind of doing a little bit of both, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, again, I don't know what video this will be, two, three, whatever. It's day two for me, but the videos might be split up differently because they are very long. Um, it is now almost nine o'clock. It's 8.45, and I've been working on this since about three, so about six hours almost that I've been working on this. So it's been a long process, but I'm excited. It looks good, and I can't wait till we get the paint in here. So I'll see you guys in my next video.